Get your decade ahead horoscope now at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous Cancer. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of August 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out right now, and there is just so much promise, so much potential and possibility here. And it may not feel like that right away as we start this month, but I'll tell you, as we end the month, the energy is going to feel so different, so hopeful, and just delightful. We will move towards a sense of freshness and excitement that I think you in particular are going to love. But in order to get to that, first, as we start the month, we may have to navigate some energies that feel like there are surprises that we're not sure how to feel about. Now, it is a month of beginnings. That is because we are starting the month and ending the month on a new moon. And that new moon, as we start the month on the first of the month, now you wanna give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet, but it is that new moon that is going to be speaking with Uranus in a conversation of tension. And it's where that new moon uh, is taking place for you that is notable because it is happening in a part of the sky that on the one hand has to do with self-esteem and self-worth, but is also connected to our sense of being able to provide for ourselves and to those to whom you are responsible. It is connected to our sense of the financial resources available to us in terms of what it is that we earn, but also what it is that we spend. Now, having unpredictable energy in this area of life for a cancer in particular, not fun. And I will acknowledge that. But I will say this, it is temporary. It is a moment that quickly can be navigated. And once we get into about a week into the month, in the first part of the month still, that is when we start welcoming in energy that is so hopeful, so enthusiastic. It tells me that there's every reason for hope. And so for some of you, there could be a new financial opportunity that does show up as you start the month, but there might be some mixed feelings on your part about that. There could be developments that take place that invite you to consider and to contemplate and look within as to what it means to have a healthy sense of self-value, of self-love, of self-respect. Well, whatever your unique answers are, it may not be as clear as you are starting the month, but by the time we navigate just a little bit further, you will find ways to root yourself in abundance and in possibility. Now, as we navigate to the middle of the month, we are gonna have this month's full moon. This full moon will also happen in a financial part of the sky. It has to do with your relationship with financial institutions, but on a more personal level, it is connected to your understanding of how resourceful you are and the resources available to you in terms of spiritually, uh, in terms of emotionally, how well cared for you feel. This is a part of the sky that is also connected to a sense of regeneration and transformation as well, and can be considered quite a serious part of the sky. Now on its surface, this full moon is standing across the sky from Mars and Venus, which brings with it an opportunity for compromise and negotiation. There's a sense of being able to see things from different perspectives that actually can be very helpful. However, just before that full moon, in the days leading up to that full moon, we are gonna have two big planets changing directions. We will have Jupiter moving forward after being retrograde for months, but we will also have Uranus, the ruling planet of this full moon, going retro. And so, these two energies together create, in and of themselves, when planets change directions, their energies are that much more magnified. It does create a sense of heightened awareness around these core energies. The core energy of optimism and possibility of Jupiter, but also change and surprise of Uranus. Now you add the emotion of a full moon and you can see that it can feel like a time when things are moving, they're moving rather quickly, 
and you are having to find adjustment or find supporters or connect with other people and get other opinions in order to understand your best way forward. So for some of you, it's going to be quite straightforward. It may very well play out in terms of what's happening financially. Now, the great thing is when a planet goes retrograde, its energies turn more inward. This can be a powerful time for healing any kind of emotional issues that can be there that you feel are not allowing the type of prosperity or wealth that you desire. It can be a powerful time for looking within and redefining wealth as more internal qualities. On a more mundane level, it can be a powerful time for thinking about any kind of debt or money that you may owe and what it is that you want to do so that you can feel more free of that. And seeking advice from a friend can actually be really helpful in this regard. For others of you though, this may not necessarily play out in terms of what is happening with a financial institution. It could just have a lot more to do with how it is that you are approaching the change that you desire, how it is that you are understanding what it means to be more honest with yourself about where it is that you actually could be doing more to be the change that you desire to be. Is there inner work that needs to be done? Well, it is gonna be now that you start to understand that a little bit more, that you start to get other perspectives so that ultimately you can integrate that and become more of what feels like an authentic version of yourself. This part of the sky is connected to authenticity as well and that is going to be especially important to you at the time of this full moon. Now it is as we end the month, I promised you a beautiful end to the month. We have this beautiful new moon playing out that I'm really excited about. It will be happening hand in hand with Mercury, with Mars and with Venus. So we've got a lot of concentrated energy here speaking in supreme harmony with the Uranus. So whereas the energy at the beginning of the month was surprise that you didn't know how to feel about or might have felt challenging, this is where surprise can be delightful, can be hopeful. This is also energy that a lot of people are gonna feel is lucky, things changing very quickly in a way that you love. This new moon is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with communications of all kinds. It has to do with contracts. It has to do with documents. Now it is also connected to siblings, cousins, and neighbors. So on one level, it might be a fresh start for a sibling, cousin, or neighbor that just delights you, makes you so, so happy. Now it may or may not affect you, but regardless, it looks like there's a spirit of happiness around you and one of these people at this time. But another level of this is just news, like getting good news. This is a part of the sky that is connected to like whether it's news in terms of the media or just news that affects your life, uh, getting an email, getting a, a letter. All of these can actually be the harbinger of just lovely developments for you now. Now this can also be a really great time to fill out documents. So wherever it is that you're hoping to put in an application for whatever it may be, this can be a really great time to present yourself or to even just fill out those documents to plan any kind of negotiations or even to just sign a contract. That can be very fortunate to be done at the end of the month. Where it comes to matters of love, it is gonna be about three weeks into the month that both Mars and Venus are going to move into this very mind-oriented, communication-oriented part of the sky and will immediately start setting up beautiful connections with Uranus and next month, beautiful connections with Saturn and Pluto in your opposite sign. So there's a lot to look forward to next month. I'll be here to talk about it as we go along, but the good energy and the love vibes start for you this month. This energy can be wonderful for being understood, for connecting with people on a mind level, for fostering a sense of a meaningful connection that is rooted in mutual understanding rooted in a genuine respect and a genuine relationship and a genuine friendship with each other. So if you are open to meeting someone new, I would say things like social media, online connections, or even just sort of informally being in the right place at the right time, meeting the right person can make all the difference. Being willing to have that conversation can make all the difference and can surprise you when it comes to matters of love. 
if you are just getting to know somebody, I think you're gonna find, especially as we navigate late into the month, that you're able to talk to this person that much more. You will value being able to communicate with this person that much more and might find surprise opportunities to share more deeply. And for those of you who are in an established bond, so there's a couple of things I see here. Yes, it is this energy late in the month that I think is going to be important for you. Um, it's gonna allow you to talk about things that otherwise might feel a little bit uncertain or challenging to actually discuss. So it's gonna be that much easier to be able to share with your partner and to be spontaneous together. But that full moon in the middle of the month happening uh, in the part of the sky that it is, that is a part of the sky that does speak to profound intimacy that we normally have with our established bonds. And it can sometimes speak to our spouse's income. So I just want you to be a little bit aware that it is possible there are some developments that happen with your spouse's income in the middle of the month. Nothing that can't be navigated and navigated quite well for that matter. But at least for now, there is the sense of possibility and potential uh, of having your partner go through a sense of consideration as to where it is that they are desiring to go where it comes to the prosperity that they create for themselves and therefore uh, the prosperity that the two of you share. But the other layer of this, having to do with more profound intimacy, wanting to share more, wanting to be more connected, I think that that is gonna be part of the energy in the middle of the month if you are in an established bond. It can be a time when you are wanting to be more vulnerable with each other and you may very well find a moment to share more deeply with each other in a way that leaves one or both of you changed in ways that allow you to then feel that much more loved and that much more accepted. What I love about this month for you, it's gotta be that new moon towards the end of the month, the way the energy starts to change for you in wonderful ways as we navigate forward. I think that it is going to be as we navigate late into the month that you are gonna find yourself particularly chatty you're going to be able to talk about things. It'll be that much easier to feel like you're understanding and learning and your own curiosity is going to be awakened. And that not only makes life more interesting, but you'll also find that there's a lot to share with others. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week. Unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.